This video is part of a series of videos presenting solutions of problems related to the machine dynamics topic. This video presents the solution of a problem, dealing with the kinematics of a planetary gear train. In this problem, we are asked to determine the angular velocity of the arm in the planetary gear train shown here. So that the ring's angular velocity will be one quarter of the sun's angular velocity. The angular velocity of the sun is given and is equal to 20 radian per second clockwise. Also given, the number of teeth of the sun, the planets, and the ring. This planetary gear train is built up from a sun gear, an arm 3, a ring gear 8, and four planet gears, which are gears 4, 5, 6, and 7. The arm, the sun gear, and ring gear, have fixed axis rotation motion. The planet gears undergo general motion. First, we are going to establish the expression of omega 8, the angular velocity of the ring 8, in terms of the angular velocities of the sun 2 and the arm 3. As the problem is linear, it is possible to use the superposition method. Thus, calculating the effects of the sun and the arm together, is equivalent to calculating the effect of the sun alone, and calculating the effect of the arm alone, and then adding the two effects. In other words, omega 8 due to the rotations of sun and the arm is equal to the sum of omega 8 calculated assuming the arm fixed, or omega 3 is equal to zero and omega 8 calculated assuming the sun is fixed, or omega 2 is equal to zero. In a first step, we will assume that the arm is fixed, or omega 3 is equal to zero. In this case, the planetary gear train becomes a usual compound gear train. Let's calculate the omega 8 over omega 2 ratio. We need first to introduce the angular velocity of the intermediate gear 4, 5, 6, and 7. Thus, we will multiply and divide it by omega 4, omega 5, omega 6, and omega 7. The ring 8 and gear 7 are meshed together, thus, omega 8 divided by omega 7 is equal to n7 divided by n8. The gears 5 and 6 are meshed, hence, omega 6 divided by omega 5 is equal to minus n5 divided by n6. Also, the sun gear 2 is meshed with planet gear 4. Hence, omega 4 divided by omega 2 is equal to minus n2 divided by n4. On the other hand, planet gear 6 and 7 are on the same shaft, hence, omega 7 divided by omega 6 is equal to 1. Likewise, planet gears 4 and 5 are on the same shaft, hence, omega 5 divided by omega 4 is also equal to 1. Consequently, the speed ratio omega 8 by omega 2 is equal to n2 by n4 times n5 by n6 times n7 by n8. Or also, the angular velocity of the ring 8, when the arm 3 is fixed, is equal to n2 times n5 times n7, divided by, n4 times n6 times n8. In a second step, we'll assume that the sun is fixed, or omega 2 is equal to 0. We would like to express omega 8 in terms of the arm's angular velocity omega 3. To this purpose, we will use the tabular method. This method is based on the superposition principle, as the problem is linear. And it will be divided in two sub-steps. The desired results will be the total or sum of the two sub-steps. Here, we would like to study the effect of the arm 3, on the ring gear 8, while the sun 2 is fixed, or omega 2 is equal to 0. At the same time we would like to take advantage of the previous result, where the arm number 3 is fixed. Thus, in the first sub-step, we will consider the effect of the arm number 3. And in the second sub-step, we will assume the arm is static. For sun 2, we will need to consider that, its speed in the first sub-step, is the opposite of its speed in the second sub-step, thus the total will be as if the sun is static. The simplest is to choose that, the sun too, rotates at the same speed as the arm in the first sub-step. And, in the sub-step too, the sun rotates at the same speed as the arm, in the first sub-step, 
but in the opposite direction. Here, the present planetary gear train, has a mobility of 2. Thus, it is possible to control, independently, the arm and the sun, or any two gears. It is possible then, to have different choices for the sun's and the arm's speed. For the first sub-step, the arm and the sun have the same angular velocity. In this case the whole gear train will behave as one rigid body, and all gears will have the same angular velocity as the arm and the sun. Hence, the angular velocity of the ring is equal to angular velocity of the arm. For the second sub-step, the arm is fixed, thus, it is possible to take advantage of the result established previously, when the arm was supposed static. We have established that, if the arm is fixed, the angular velocity of the ring, omega 8, is equal to, omega 2, times the ratio, n 2 times n 5 times n 7, divided by, n 4 times n 6 times n 8. In the second sub-step, the angular velocity omega 2 is equal to minus omega 3. Hence, omega 8, will be equal to the ratio, n 2 n 5 n 7, over n 4 n 6 n 8, times minus omega 3. To have the angular velocity of the ring, when the sun is fixed, we need just to combine the results of the two sub-steps. The sum of the two sub-steps gives, 1 minus, n 2, n 5, n 7, over, n 4, n 6, n 8, the all times omega 3. Hence, omega 8, when the sun 2 is fixed, is equal to 1 minus, n 2, n 5, n 7, over, n 4, n 6, n 8, the all times omega 3. We have showed that, omega 8, when the sun 2 is fixed, is equal to 1 minus, n 2, n 5, n 7, over, n 4, n 6, n 8, the all times omega 3. We have also showed that, omega 8, when the arm 3 is fixed, is equal to n 2, n 5, n 7, over, n 4, n 6, n 8, times omega 2. The superposition of the two effects gives that, Omega 8 is equal to N2, N5, N7, over, N4, N6, N8, times Omega 2, plus, 1 minus, N2, N5, N7, over, N4, N6, N8, the all times Omega 3. After establishing the equation of Omega 8, in terms of Omega 2 and Omega 3, we substitute all given parameters by their numerical values. Using a calculator, gives that 5 is approximately equal to, 1.481, plus 0.9259 times, omega 3. Solving the equation gives omega 3 is equal to 3.80 radians per second. Here, the arm should rotate in the same direction as the sun, in the clockwise direction. Finally, the answer to the problem is, omega 3 is equal to 3.80 radians per second in the clockwise direction, considering three significant figures.